a message from God. You all know the commandment. Love God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. But God is saying, you love conditional existence far more than you love me. God is saying, you've got an emotional attachment to the things of the world, the conditions of your life, your circumstances, your friends, your neighbours, your belongings. All of this is called yours. But God says, none of it is yours. It's all mine. God says, if you love me, then you will not be emotionally disturbed. God says, if you love me, then you are already happy, not dependent on the conditions arising or not arising to make you happy. God says, you are already happy if only you would stop doing unhappiness, stop doing doubt, stop doing fear, stop doing anxiety, stop doing your seeking for this, that and the other. You are living like clenched fists instead of an open hand. The open hand disposition is the God disposition, the God place. The God place is freedom. The God place is no problem, no concern, no anxiety, no more seeking, no more ill at ease. The God place is intimate with all surroundings. The God place is already the case. It wasn't born and will never die. The things of the world, they come and go. They change like the clouds in the sky. But God is like the sun, forever stable, always there, even, not, even when not seen. So the message that God has, has for every individual on this earth is that don't get involved, emotionally involved in the conditions of life. Stop becoming attached to everything as if your life depended upon it. That's the illusion. You think your life depends. You think your happiness depends. The human being, the body-mind, when lived in this disposition without this self-contraction, will be found to be already happy, already joy, already delight, already stable, already balanced. The body-mind, when lived like this, without this, is full of energy and life. Stop identifying as, as if you need to identify with the things of the world to make you happy. You are going to die. We are all going to die. Stop thinking that your body, mind, your happiness depends on the conditions of this world. It's a big, it's a great and courageous thing to do to love me more than the things of the world. That's what God is saying, if God could speak. God speaks through us. Only those who have realised God 
realize this disposition, understands. Most people believe this, that and the other. That consoles them. That prevents them from growing up, from maturing. This disposition is the God disposition. To love God requires great understanding that you're doing this activity is not necessary. It requires great integrity. It requires great discipline. Discipline of attention. Your attention is wandering here, there and everywhere. But God says, put your attention on me. And for me, it's in the form of Adidas Samraj, the divine world teacher. Jesus was a spiritual master, but he's not giving us the message that one is re one requires to be liberated. He did say, turn to me, Jesus said, turn to me. I am the truth and the life. And he said, through me, you will know God. He referred to God as his father. But God isn't a childish father. God is a state, is a presence. It's love bliss, it's joy. It's a disposition. That is what God is. That can only be realized when this isn't happening. This self contraction. Centering on me, 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 small m, me. God is big M, me, capital M, me. I decided right from the word, right from a young age and through my teens and twenties, that I was going to realize God. And I've realized God. And I've realized what it is that I and you do, that we do, to separate ourselves from God. And that activity is sin. That's what sin is. Separation from God. So if this represents God, that's what we're doing. We're separating ourselves. Instead of becoming one with God. We need to meld, we need to but it's a case of standing alone. Not in a lonely way, but it's down to the individual, no matter what others may think or say. And in this disposition there is no other. There's just intimacy. This is what there is to realize. To love God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul. So you're surrendering. That which you normally do is surrender to the conditions of life. Attention goes on this and on that and on the other. And then you get emotionally involved, which causes great pain and heartache especially when someone dies or something disappears or something gets broken or something offends you you feel rejected so Adida, my teacher, says for self-forgetting, God remembering stop remembering yourself everyone remembers their self the egoic personality is made up of many patterns 
and tendencies due to circumstances. And the ego is always looking for ways to manipulate others and things. It's very immature. Maturity is the stable condition. And this disposition is maturity. To stand alone with God. Once a sapling, once a young tree has grown to sufficient strength, the support is taken away. Once a child has mastered the control of a little tricycle, then it learns how to ride on two wheels. The support is taken away. The father moves away. The adults are very childish. They still want more and more support and scaffolding to hold them up, so they think. It's an illusion. Every individual is a vehicle for God's expression, for God's creativity. God is energy. God is light. God is love. What you're hearing right now is a great message. It's esoteric. It's an esoteric message. It's a hidden message. It's a secret message. Most people are concerned with exoteric teachings, the teachings of the world, the church, religions, their institutions, their businesses. They have nothing to do with surrendering to God given up to God. It's a business. The business of keeping a church building open. The business of repairing old buildings. The business of paying preachers. The business of keeping the church warm. It's a business. There's nothing whatsoever to do with God. People get involved in the name of God with egoic nonsense. There's no difference between maintaining a house and maintaining a church. It requires the same stuff. But my message is, is don't get involved. Yes, there's responsibilities and things to be done. But you have to discern, you have to discriminate but from this disposition. And that's what Jesus meant by, you've got eyes, but you don't see. Only from this disposition can you see clearly. Realise this disposition. We all know this disposition. We all fall into this disposition at times. But to remain in that disposition, so we don't contract, is a discipline. Requires the redirecting of one's attention. So one's attention is always gravitating towards God. For me, in the form of Adidas Sandraj. That's my stability. We connect up, and the more it's not it's not a support. It's being it's a heart surrender. We fall in love, fall in love with the gardener. We fall out of love with the love of things and conditions and people, per se. Love God first and then you will love your neighbour without the emotional attachment, without the emotional obligation. Jesus did not say love your neighbour first. Love God first while you're with your neighbour and then you will be in love with your neighbour. 
and everything becomes one's neighbour. All the conditions in your life are your neighbour, is your neighbour. So the secret of a happy life is to simply be happy. And being happy means you'll be in love and you'll be a joy to live with, a delight to live with. And you'll be automatically cooperating and tolerant and compassionate. It's nothing to do with ego. That's all self-centered, it's all selfish nonsense. Comes and goes. So, God says, love me first. God says, surrender to me. God says, love me. God says, forget yourself. Stop dwelling on yourself. Stop being narcissistic. Stop meditating on yourself, but meditating, meditate on me. God says, it's a graceful happening. You can't do it on your own. God says, be one-pointed. God says, look at me. God says, I will open you up to God knows where. God says, life is a mystery. God says, listen to that. My heart master, Ali Dar Sambaj, I suggest you read his works and be re-educated. Literally be washed clean. It's not nice, it's not good to live as an ego. Egoic society is ugly. Egoic society is all about clenched fists and greed and selfishness because people don't feel already happy. If you felt already happy, there's nowhere to go. You will feel at home. everything in service to God. Love God first. Keep returning to God. But you've got to know God. mental knowledge, it's a heart knowledge. Once again, God is a disposition, a state. It's not a belief. It's not something in your head. How often do you have a quiet mind? God is silence. God is peace. this out. Once found out, live it, be it. Become a mouthpiece for God. All the nonsense that's being dramatised right now. Everyone is at war with one another. I know best. I know better than you. I am right. That is nonsense throughout the years and centuries and millennia.
It doesn't matter what aches and pains you have. It doesn't matter what the weather's like. It doesn't matter whether you're a pauper or a rich man. The God state is the same state for everybody. There's no discrimination. You breathe the same air as I do. You drink the same water as I do. You are warmth. You are heated by the same fire as I am. There's the ocean and there are waves. But those waves are an illusion. The waves aren't real. It's just a different shape of the water. Don't identify with the waves, they come and go. Stand alone with God, as God. God is a state, remember. Got to get rid of all that childish nonsense that God is some, something like a Santa Claus. Stop wanting to be parented all the time. Society has led you astray. You've got to see beyond to see that reality with a capital R which is beyond your reality with a small r. There's lots to say of course. If you'd like to understand more then zoom me by all means. way of the heart, not the way of the mind. Thank you for listening.